Hello, 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 everything Pisces. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, my loves. You know I missed you. You already know. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable, because we got to make it do what it do, loves, okay? Um, The planes will fly loud and high. I sing, I curse. I'm trying not to, but it is what it is. If any of these things are a problem, you already know, you can click off. Um, Besides that, we're going to jump to this Pisces read. Let's see what's going on. What do you need to know for your greatest and highest good, Pisces? All placements. Overall energy for my Pisces. I can't even hold the cards that way. I can do it the long way, y'all. Pisces, and I do need it to jump. I'm not taking all those. I'll take the one I got out, though. So let's see. Okay, Pisces. So there's something either you need to let go of, something you've recently let go of. Um, but there's some changes. You could have been caught up in some somebody's web. Could have been a um a web of lies or deceit here. But you're making some changes, a transformation, and this could be in a romantic connection here. But spirit says you need to learn to let go. So maybe that's a lesson you're going through right now, learning to let go, learning to walk away. This can be from um people, places, or things here. I do feel like this has been something hard for you. You may need to get out and ground, talk to the trees here. Go hug a tree, help you get back into balance. But I do feel like this is something that is taking a lot of confidence, something that's dealing with your heart, something that you love um, to walk away from this. I do feel like you are being spiritually guided to walk away. To let go of whatever this may be. Give me one more for Pisces. Yeah. Told you, enlightenment. I do feel like you're being spiritually guided to walk away, to let go. Pursue spiritual growth. So continue to follow your spiritual path here. I do feel like you're getting a lot of information here, a lot of downloads, focusing on your abundance here at this time. Possibly on your household. There is some type of celebration coming in here for you. Peacocks and elephants may be significant. There is an owl here as well. So listen to your intuition. I see frogs. Frogs are also about change. That's crazy. I just looked that up the other day because my daughter had a dream that it was frogs all over the walls. And we looked up to see what the frogs mean. Frogs mean change. So you got some change coming here. Letting go and preparing for change. I do feel like this could have been a couple and you're walking away from somebody. Because I don't know if you guys can see. It was a white tiger on the side of this um, yellow tiger. And I feel like the feminine tiger has walked away from the masculine tiger here. Yeah, you do have good fortune coming in here for you though, guys. Luck is on your side with these elephants here. I feel like walking away was for your greater and highest good. Whether this was from family, friends, if this was from a job, if this was from a lover. I see you walking away, letting go of something and moving towards something way better that's going to bring you good fortune here. Yeah, you could have gotten some type of epiphany here. Um, some type of truth or clarity came in about this person or this job or this family member. And now you're moving forward. Spirit says get ready for a positive change here. Okay, guys. Oh, let's see. Yeah, there's some healing, some rest. You may need to take some time to yourself to heal, to rest, to, to um, I don't know why I heard recalibrate. Recalibrate, to get yourself refocused, to get back to you here. You may need to do some meditation, some breathing. Spend more time connecting to the spirit around here. There's some downloads coming in for you. And I keep getting drawn to this house back here. Something could be going on with your house, in your house, around your house here, guys. Could be walking away, moving to a new house. Could be that. 
but I do feel like your emotions are getting balanced. Things are calming down for you now that you've walked away and let go. Or you're learning to let go of things that no longer serve you here. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces at this time. <coughs> Clarify letting go. Pisces. Okay, so I have the Queen of Swords. You could let go of an X here. Oh, I got a Queen of Wands too. This could be family, friends. This ex could be someone who was, um, so I have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Leo, Aries, Sash. Let's say that. This could be two female friends. Um, there could have been a group of y'all, three of y'all that hung out together. Um, you could have let go of somebody because they had you caught in between two different people, male or female, just energy here. Um, they could have, like I said, could have had you in third party situations. I do feel like this is someone who has now became your ex. But they were negative, low vibrational, um, in and out, playboy, playgirl, mean, um, just mean. I don't want to call them evil, but just Queen of Wands in reverse is a mean, nasty bitch. You know what I'm saying? Dirty. Stab you in the back. And maybe that's what you had to do. Maybe there was a mean, nasty motherfucker around you and you had to cut that ass off. Now you got your guard up against them. Maybe they were saying mean, nasty, ugly shit about you. And and it's come back to to you. You know what I'm saying? Because this can be friends. It doesn't have to be a um, romantic situation. This can be family. But this is somebody that was talking very negatively about you or doing very negative things to you here. And you put your guard up. You walked away. Or you need to. Yeah. I do feel like whoever you walked away from may be stressed. Or this person was causing you a lot of stress. Yeah, this is you, Pisces. Whoever this was was causing you a lot of stress. Because you're emotional. You know, you're in your feelings. And I do feel like you were having a hard time sleeping, eating, because of whatever this mean, arrogant, lower vibrational person was doing, right? I'm trying not to be mean with what I say. And I feel like you're walking away. You were tired of the stress. You were tired of the games. You were tired of the manipulation here. I do feel like this person played a lot of mind games here. So is about your mental. And I feel like they enjoy playing these mind games with you here. But I do feel like your intuition told you what was real when it came to this person. And you walked away. And I feel like you're healing now. You're walking away to balance out your emotions, to balance out your life. Clarify enlightenment for my Pisces. Knight of Wands. Yeah, I do feel like you're getting out of here very quickly here. I also feel like if this was a romantic situation... There was somebody who was just here for a good time, not for a long time. In and out energy. You know, just a sexual energy coming in for sex, coming in for what they could get here. And then, you know, when they got what they wanted, when they got their energy, whatever it was, because it didn't necessarily have to be um, sex. It could be your time, your money, your energy, um, your conversation, your advice. And then once they got what they needed from you, they would get ghosts. And it left you stressed, you know. And then when they needed to refill, they would come back. And I do feel like you became enlightened to that here. Yeah, high priestess. <laughs> Pisces, I can't make this shit up. You became enlightened to this. Okay? Um, You could have found out something um, on the computer, on the internet here, on the web. Also, you may do work or some type of um, something on the computer, on the internet. But I do feel like your intuition was guiding you to walk away, to run away, to get the fuck away from whoever this person was. You've got some type of truth here. This could be your friend. Two of Cups. This could be someone you consider a friend. And you found out this friend did not have your best interest at heart. They were really against you. This could have really hurt you, caused you a lot of stress. Family members. Put it where it fit for you. But this is somebody I feel like you felt like you had a bond to. You trusted this person. Only to find out that they've stabbed you in the back here. Could be a king of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. That could be you. But I, I see you letting go and making the changes. You're tired of the stress. You're tired of not sleeping. You're tired of always in your emotions and your feelings when it comes to this person here. Yeah, they could have put you in third-party situations with the Three of Pentacles. This could also be a work situation. 
work can be stressing you out. Your boss could be a bitch. Treating you like shit. And it's time to walk away and move forward. Yeah, forward movement here. Eight of Wands. <laughs> you're leaving something. You're traveling. You're getting up out of something, okay? There's some type of communication or forward movement coming in here for you. But I see you leaving this. You're, you're, you're letting go. You're walking away. And you're healing. Start. You're balancing out your feelings, your emotions. And I feel like because you are walking away, because you're leaving this connection, because you are letting it go, this is why your blessings are finna come in. You're being divinely guided here. Um, let's see what's, what that we want to do. Um, Pisces. Which deck spirit is my deck? Okay, so we're going to do the T. Let's see what's going on. This is my deck, guys. If you're interested, somebody, huh, they could have got a third party pregnant and that's why you walked away. They could have walked away from you and went towards a third party that was pregnant or they had a baby with. Stressed you out. Could have found out your person got a third party pregnant. This could be family that came up against you here. Somebody's upset that you don't love them no more, that you turned your back on them. Now they feel it just hurt. Pisces. What is Pisces letting go of and walking away from? Pisces. <laughs> You're letting go of the past for a new beginning here, babies. New beginnings are coming in here for you. You're walking away from friends, family, work, exes. <laughs> Look, somebody had a third party. For some of you guys, it was a third party with this mistress. Yeah. And you're working on yourself here, Pisces. Okay? So I see you walking away. I see you working on yourself for this new beginning. You're healing. No longer stressed. No longer allowing somebody to come in here. And I got side piece again. Like, there's a third party. Okay, so just for those who are resonating with this as a couple, not the friends or the family, but this is your person. This person put you in some type of third party situation. They play games. They could have been dealing with their ex. Okay, um, and you had enough. You walked away. You let go. You made the changes. You stood in your power. And you got some type of clarity here, some type of enlightenment. And you're, you're moving towards new beginnings. You're working on yourself. You're healing. Tell me more. What do my Pisces need to know right now? That's a lot. Uh, whoever this is that you walked away from want to meet back up, babies. So whoever this is, friend, family, boss, whoever you walked away from to work on yourself to heal, they want to come back. They want to meet up. They want to have a conversation with you. If this is a boss, a job, they want to offer you more money. They want you to return. They want to give you a raise. They want to, somebody want to make up for, um, huh. I heard lost time. So if this was a connection, somebody want to make up for lost time. But if this is a boss, they want to make up for the treatment. This could be the boss of the boss that was treating you wrong. This could be a family member want to go out for drinks, smoke. See if you guys can fix this connection. If this is a friendship. Yeah, look. Somebody come back. They want you, this, and us. So whether this is a job, a friendship, they want you, okay? This family member, they want you. This this friendship, they want the friendship back. If this is a, a person you were dealing with and you walked away because they put you in third-party situations, they want you. They're coming back towards you. Spirit says trust in divine timing. So this could be divinely guided, okay? Whatever the situation may be. Yeah, see, they went towards somebody with the sorry, I don't want kids. They went towards somebody that said they was pregnant. If you are dealing with a connection, okay? If you're dealing with a romantic connection, this person put you in a third-party situation. They went towards somebody that said they were pregnant. Um, I don't know if this person was really pregnant. They could have been, could, if they were not pregnant, they could have went back to a child's parent here. Baby mama, baby daddy. And they want to meet up and talk about it now that you've walked away from this connection. For others, this could have been an outside baby. Somebody got somebody outside of a connection, outside of a relationship pregnant. And now they want to come back and talk to you. You walked away from this connection because you were not going to be a, a part of a third party situation. And you sure as hell wasn't going to deal with somebody that got pregnant by somebody outside of the connection or got somebody pregnant outside of the situation. So you walked away. You're letting go. You got the truth. For some of you guys, small few, 
when you walked away, when you let go, these people saw the truth about you. You walked away. You started a new beginning. You started working on yourself. And they didn't want to come back towards you. For some of these people, if they walked away from you and went towards somebody who said they were pregnant, the baby was not theirs. This is my, sorry, I don't want kids. It's sorry, it's not your baby card, okay? At least that's how I read it when I do my readings with this deck. So everybody can read it different. But that's this is, always comes out as, it's not your baby card. So whoever this is, this friend, this family, because I'm getting different stories. So take what's yours, leave what's not. Um, they just needed some time. They're trying to get themselves together to come back towards you here. Um, especially if they walked away, they go towards somebody who said they were pregnant. They found out that baby did not belong to them. And now they want to meet up and talk to you. They've been working on themselves and they want a new beginning because they still want this connection with you. They just left you because somebody said they were pregnant and they were trying to go do the right thing here. Yeah, they said there's no me without you. So, boss, they can't have this job. This job won't run the way it's supposed to run without you here, Pisces. If this is a family member, the family don't run right without you, Pisces. If this is um, a relationship that you walked away from, they're not happy without you, Pisces. Yeah, no matter who it is, they want to try. Whether it's a boss, family, friends, ex Somebody you walked away from, somebody was playing games. They want to come back and try and work on whatever this situation may be again. Look, let's rekindle the fire. I can't make it up. So whoever you walked away from, um, you went towards your enlightenment. You went to work on yourself. You went towards a new beginning here. And you walking away has allowed this person to want a new beginning, to work on themselves. To want to come back and towards you to fix whatever the situation may have been. They realize or see your worth now. Whether this is family, friends, boss, or someone you were romantically involved with, okay? Yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> for a lot of you guys, this person walked away. If this is a romantic connection, they walked away from you and went back towards somebody who said they were pregnant or a baby's mom or a baby's father only to find out that um, a child was not theirs. Yeah, this could be a friend too, a friendship connection. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, romantic. So this could be your, your friend, your homegirl, your homeboy. Y'all fell out. This person was hating against you. You know what I'm saying? Talking shit about you behind your back. Really upset because you put up your guard. You was, you know, doing whatever you was doing. You went on towards a new beginning and you cut this person off. But now they want to come back. They want to hang out. They want to meet up. They still want this friendship. They could be praying. Yeah, they want to hang out. Your family and friends want to hang out too. So, like I said, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm actually getting all three, okay? I'm getting romantic relationships, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, um, job too. I'm getting all of them, right? So, take which one fits for you and leave the rest, guys, okay? Maybe two of the stories, maybe it's a job and a family member, maybe it's a job and a lover, um, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's a family and a friend. It may be more than one situation for you, but no matter how many situations it is, they want you back, babies, okay? They now see your worth, Pisces. Because you know why? Because you saw your worth. You saw your worth enough to let go, to walk away, to say, I will not tolerate this. You spoke up. You spoke your truth. Even if you didn't say nothing, you just walked away. You, you stood up for yourself here, Pisces. And now you got a new beginning coming in here for you, babies, okay? So if this resonates with you, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Uh -oh. Sorry, baby. Uh-oh. Sorry, plant. Y'all can't see it. She long. That's the bottom of right here. Sorry, y'all. I mean, yes, I talk to my plants. I do. I talk to everything, okay? So, shh, don't be saying nothing. Keep your comments to yourself. Oh, and by the way, y'all, I know you probably ain't still here, but keep the negative comments out my comment section. I don't care. I don't want it in there. It just brings negative vibes to the page. We don't need that. If you know you don't like this person, you don't want that person back, no need to tell me. If you know this ain't your story, no need to tell me. If it's not positive, if you're not looking for encouragement here, you know, positive energy, because you get back what you put out. And I don't want that negative stuff on my page, because I don't want negative energy coming back towards my channel. Okay? And and you need to be mindful if you're the ones that's doing it. All that negativity you keep spooking, that's all you're going to get back. 
And then when your life is not changing and you can't understand why shit is not moving and working for you, it's because you're still in that negative law of vibration, even if you think you're not. Okay? I love you guys. Work on it. Be better. Love you. Love your friends. Love your family. I love you guys. Okay? So until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. And respect the channel.